still curious about why the ICE, you talked about meeting Robin Phillips for the first mm. time at a PAC conference, mm. and oh my gosh, there's Robin Phillips of Stratford. The, the isolation of all the different theaters mm. at that point, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the big uh, dead European playwrights mm -hmm. uh, theaters, Shaw and Stratford, then the, you know, then the, the sort of Pasmarai yeah. being a edgy populist, uh, you know, baby blue shows, but Heishi shows. I mean, everyone kept a kind of silo. Mm -hmm. Why was that? You ask me, I, I don't know. Because I, I remember from yeah, the inside, there yeah. was, I mean, we went from theater to theater, but we also resented certain styles. You mm -hmm, know, we, mm -hmm. we were going so, to I mean, mail a dead swan to the door of Stratford every summer because they weren't doing Canadian work. And, mm -hmm. and the walls built up false mm -hmm. prejudices mm -hmm. for me, which hopefully have gotten older as I got older. But well, you you there. probably were one of the last. To <laughs> 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 but no, so it it was true. It was true of actors, as you say. You're a Shaw actor. Yeah. You're a Stratford actor. Yeah. You're a Tarragon actor. It was probably true of designers too, to a certain extent. Except they've always been able somehow, and I don't know how, they've been able to float more easily because I don't know why, really. It's interesting. But I think when you sat in your general manager's chair and working on the next season mm -hmm. with Bella Urjo and heard the, the large scale, dare we say, grandiose plans of Robin Phillips bringing over Maggie Smith and et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera, what did you think? Probably the same thing I think now when, when something like that happens. That's them, this is us. You know, it, 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 they just don't. They don't. Uh, <clears throat> it doesn't. It doesn't affect me in the in the real world. I mean, it might. I might think about it, but it's. But if say the big theaters, uh, Shaw and Stratford, are sucking up more and more of the Canada Council grants, and there's less proportionally. Ah, uh, that's a different. Those? That's a different matter. That's that's something different. And I mean, you. Well, oh, it's a big, it's a big issue. Uh, the Sophie, the Sophie uh, Grant, it was one of the first times that we really had this in black and white. The Sophie Grant, what was that? This was a, the initi a special, initi special initiatives grant that the Canada Council gave out a few years ago. And there was a disproportionate ranking of money and I think it was basically the intent behind it was to top up a lot of the large organizations and I don't think that intent was made clear enough to the rest of the country and it resulted in some bad feelings. How did you express that unhappiness? Well I happen to be sitting on a jury so I, I could express it. And did that have any effect? Um, well, it, it certainly became an issue, and and it was an issue that uh, that was addressed uh, through letters and also through a personal uh, appearance from the director of the Canada Council, who came down and talked to those of us here in Toronto. Uh, it wasn't a particularly happy meeting because I think there was a certain chip on his shoulder. Um, What's that? Bob Sermon. Um, and it, it, it created a bit of a divide for a while. I hope that's mended now. But it's always going to be the issue because people don't understand. It's, it's the way in pe some people feel entitled to money and they don't understand why they're not getting more money. And they don't, the, the, you try to tell them that there is only so much and there are new companies coming in all the time and they deserve to be funded as well. It, it's, it's a, you're never going to solve it. You probably wouldn't solve it if there was 10 times as much money. There would still be people who thought they didn't get their share. Well, it's about how a culture prioritizes yeah. its, its art, so yeah. to speak. Is it the ballet? Uh, you know, is it a, another... Uh, Opera House or Kerner Concert Hall. Mm -hmm. I mean, I sit here at this moment and we're in the wonderful Tarragon building mm -hmm. 
uh, which again has got leaks and whatever, and for me, and I look at the Kerner Hall, which I'm very happy it's mm -hmm. been built, mm -hmm. but I look at the resources in that building, that's mm -hmm. the Conservatory of Music, and I'm happy for that because mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. music, but I look at the disproportionate use of artistic dollars, and nothing went to Tarragon, and nothing went to Tafel Music, and that bothers yeah. me. Well, and this is, this, is, uh, this is where we've changed too, is that we now have for instance, we have an organization called Creative Trust, which is trying to address that very thing. And it's collected together all those people who are currently looking for money, for, fun, or for funds to change that uh, scenario, either building a new building, moving into another building, fixing their own building uh, as it stands, and can't get anywhere, even though because now, of course, the money's gone right. for the foreseeable future. We're trying to see if we can change that. Right. No, it's, um, I mean, I think, well, everything is so much more collaborative now, but, I mean, there are, all you have to do is talk to any of the, the council officers, and they'll tell you how many theaters and how many dance companies and how many music companies there are now compared to the past and uh, you can't help but feel sorry for them uh, trying to figure out how you distribute it. Uh, I, worked, I worked a bit in New York uh, and was aghast, amazed and impressed at the spread of companies throughout the city, the Broadway, the off-Broadway, the off-off-Broadway and then the basements and then the church halls. I worked in Los Angeles a bit and was impressed that there was theater, but it was off in some concert hall or that rec and the actors weren't paid and they did four shows a week, and but they had theater. And I began to ask myself in those places, I didn't know where Toronto fell in that. Uh, I haven't couched the question. Well, it's, uh, it will, however you couched it, my, my contribution to this is the fact that, that in the States, there's a, there was a much bigger kind of looking toward New York and Broadway, uh, even more than, than it, there was here. Um, and there was very little government, there, and still is, very little government funding. So therefore, you, you moved into that kind of world of having to go to foundations and private funders and corporations and sponsorships, all those things that have grown up and that we've, we've kind of adopted. Um, but they've never been well funded. They're probably, and, and people don't realize that. They think they're as well funded as we are. They're not. And our government has been a lot more generous in their attitude toward culture. Our government, however, is changing. <laughs> and I, I really worry about that. I'm deeply worried about the Canada Council. They got money recently, but you wonder whether if, um, if the government, if there's a majority in the future, we may find a, a big change there. But in the States, I, I, you know, and I, think, and I think too that, I think we're getting over that whole notion of if it doesn't make it somewhere else, it hasn't made it. Um, at least I hope we are. When you were here with Urjo and with Bill, did that reflex ever enter into planning? Um, these well, productions will re only be really important if they're picked up mm -hmm. in Montreal mm -hmm. or New York or Vancouver or... Well, we didn't try very hard, so obviously it wasn't top of mind. I think there were certainly playwrights who, who would feel that way. Uh, and to be fair, I guess that was their livelihood, so... They, they wanted it. David certainly wanted New York, uh, David French. Um, and Jitters was the first one that went down? To New York, really, Hosanna was right. from, from here. And David's play, Jitters went to, to just outside New York. And the sad part about that was that, uh, and it did very well. It um, was in, now I'm going to, I'm blocking on the name. It's just outside of New York, and it was a very good playhouse, and 
I don't know why I can't remember it. But Noises Off was produced shortly thereafter, and it became the, the play to see. And it was very similar in, in its subject matter. So uh, David has had a lot of excess, success with jitters, but it didn't have that last little push, which was too bad. And did Bill ever have that instinct of needing something to be, to be approved outside? I don't think so. I mean, I think, I think he would have been pleased, and he, he always he would, he would try for it. But I don't think that was who he was. It is a stage that we've, I feel that we've yeah. finally grown out of. I do too. And it was a long adolescence, yeah. and it was a strange stage, and I'm glad we're past it yeah. because it was <clears throat> misplaced. Mm -hmm. no. I mean, there's still, there's still a, a, a need and a desire to, uh, to be seen elsewhere. Yeah. But, you know, I, I, we, we toured, we toured to England, and I think to myself, we went to the Donmar, and it was a, it's a you know, it's, it's a prestigious theater in London. Which production went to the Donmar? It was, uh, it was the, it was a, it was again a Tremblay, The Real World. I think it was Real World, or was it Albertine? Maybe it was Albertine, because we took both. It may have been Albertine. Uh, but we played uh, matinees, and we played matinees to 25 people. Or, you know, and, but yet, when you get back, you can say, yes, we were, we were in London. And you go, what is that about? I mean, it's crazy. Now, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't have money to tour. Uh, I think the, the, whole, the whole doing of it was, was really instructive for everybody. But until we realize that, that going is not all there is. You have to, I, I think that's why Can Stage tried to initiate uh, sort of reciprocal productions. It didn't work as it probably was intended to, but that probably was more useful in the long run. Mm 